Kane's heart pounded as he made his way through the dense foliage of the dark forest. He had always been drawn to the mysteries of nature, but this forest held a special allure for him. Legends and rumors swirled around its ancient trees, whispering tales of lost souls, eerie sounds, and inexplicable phenomena. Kane had heard stories of people who had entered the forest and never returned, their bodies never found. Despite the warnings, he couldn't resist the call of the unknown. He was determined to uncover the truth behind the forest's dark reputation. Armed with his camera and a backpack filled with supplies, Kane ventured deeper into the forest. The air grew heavy, and the usual sounds of birds and rustling leaves were replaced by an unnerving silence. It felt as if the forest itself was holding its breath, watching his every move. As he walked further, the trees seemed to close in around him, their branches forming a twisted canopy overhead. Shadows danced menacingly, making it difficult for Kane to discern what was real and what was a trick of the mind. The sunlight struggled to penetrate the thick foliage, casting an eerie gloom over the surroundings. Kane's heart raced, his senses on high alert. Suddenly, he heard a rustling noise to his right. He froze, his gaze fixed on the source of the sound. Slowly, a deer emerged from the underbrush, its eyes wide with fear. Kane relaxed slightly, relieved by the presence of another living being in this desolate place. As he continued his trek, Kane stumbled upon an old abandoned cabin. Its weathered wooden exterior and broken windows exuded an air of desolation. Intrigued, Kane cautiously approached the cabin, his camera ready to capture any clues that might lie within. The door creaked ominously as Kane pushed it open. Inside, he discovered a disheveled room, covered in layers of dust and cobwebs. Furniture lay in ruins, and the walls were adorned with faded photographs and strange symbols scratched into the wood. Kane's curiosity intensified, and he meticulously photographed every inch of the cabin. He couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched, but he pressed on, determined to solve the forest's mysteries. Just as he was about to leave, his eye caught a glimmer of light reflecting off something hidden beneath a floorboard. With trembling hands, he pried open the loose board, revealing a worn leather journal. Its pages were filled with cryptic entries, detailing encounters with the supernatural, unexplained disappearances, and sightings of strange creatures. As Kane skimmed through the journal, a sense of dread washed over him. The writer had warned of an ancient curse that befell anyone who delved too deep into the secrets of the forest. The curse, it was said, consumed the souls of the lost, trapping them in an eternal purgatory within the forest's depths. Haunted by the journal's revelations, Kane knew he had stumbled upon something far more sinister than he had ever imagined. He had unwittingly stepped into a realm where reality and nightmares intertwined, and now, he had become part of the forest's dark legacy. Fear gripped Kane's heart, but his determination to unravel the forest's secrets outweighed his growing unease. He knew he had to uncover the truth and put an end to the curse that had ensnared countless souls before him. Armed with the newfound knowledge from the journal, Kane embarked on a relentless quest for answers. He sought out local historians, delved into old newspaper archives, and interviewed those who had lived near the forest for generations. Piece by piece, Kane unraveled the tangled web of dark events that had taken place in the forest over the years. He discovered tales of ancient rituals, unsolved murders, and strange disappearances that had plagued the surrounding communities. Through his investigations, Kane came across an elderly man named Samuel, who had spent his entire life living near the edge of the dark forest. Samuel's weathered face held a mix of caution and curiosity as he listened to Kane's findings. You're treading on dangerous ground, son, Samuel warned, his voice laced with concern. The forest holds secrets that are better left untouched. There's an evil presence that lurks within, and it won't take kindly to those who try to expose it. Undeterred, Kane pressed Samuel for more information. With a heavy sigh, Samuel began recounting a story from his youth, a tale whispered among the elders, but rarely spoken aloud. Decades ago, a group of adventurers had ventured into the dark forest, much like Cain, 
seeking answers to the forest's mysteries. They were never seen again, and their disappearance had sent shockwaves through the community. Rumors of curses and malevolent spirits began to spread, instilling fear and trepidation in the hearts of the locals. Samuel's voice trembled as he revealed a shocking detail. His brother, Jonathan, had been one of the ill-fated adventurers. Jonathan had left behind a trail of journal entries, eerily similar to the one Cain had found in the abandoned cabin. As the pieces of the puzzle fell into place, Cain realized that he was following in Jonathan's footsteps. The dark forest had claimed Jonathan's life, and now it threatened to do the same to Cain. Determined not to meet the same fate, Cain made a bold decision. He gathered a group of seasoned explorers, each with their own reasons for venturing into the forest. Some sought fame, others redemption, but all were united by an unyielding desire to confront the evil that resided within. Together, they braved the dense undergrowth navigating the treacherous paths that seemed to shift and twist with each step. The forest fought back, throwing obstacles in their path and distorting their senses. But Cain and his companions persisted, their resolve unshaken. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, they reached the heart of the dark forest, a place where the air was heavy with an otherworldly presence. Shadows danced in a macabre ballet, and a foreboding stillness settled over the group. As they cautiously moved forward, a voice echoed through the forest, chilling them to their core. It spoke of ancient curses, vengeful spirits, and the insatiable hunger of the forest for human souls. Cain's heart pounded in his chest as he confronted the embodiment of the forest's malevolence. With every fiber of his being, he resisted the temptation to succumb to fear. He locked eyes with the entity, determined to break the cycle of darkness that had consumed so many before him. In a moment of sheer defiance, Cain spoke with a resolute voice, I will not be another lost soul trapped in this forest. I will reveal your secrets and free those who have fallen prey to your curse. With those words, the forest trembled, its grip loosening as if acknowledging Cain's unwavering determination. The malevolent entity recoiled, unable to withstand the light of truth and the strength of human will. As the forest released its hold, Cain and his companions emerged from its depths, forever changed by their harrowing journey. They vowed to share their findings, to shed light on the forest's dark secrets, and to warn others of the peril that awaited within. And so, the tale of the dark forest lived on a cautionary reminder of the delicate balance between curiosity and the allure of the unknown. Cain's journey had come to an end, but his legacy endured, etched into the annals of the forest's haunted history. Gabriel had always been drawn to the mysteries of the natural world. His fascination with forests led him to explore various woodlands, but none intrigued him as much as the infamous Dark Forest. It was rumored to be a place of inexplicable occurrences and eerie happenings. Determined to unravel its secrets, Gabriel embarked on a journey that would forever change his life. As Gabriel entered the Dark Forest, a shiver ran down his spine. The dense foliage blocked out the sunlight, casting a perpetual gloom over the forest floor. The silence was deafening, broken only by the occasional rustle of leaves or the distant hoot of an owl. It was a place where the wild and untamed reigned supreme. Undeterred by the eerie atmosphere, Gabriel pressed on, following a narrow path that seemed to appear out of nowhere. The deeper he ventured, the more he felt a strange presence lurking in the shadows. It was as if unseen eyes were watching his every move. Hours turned into days, and Gabriel's determination remained unyielding. He documented his findings meticulously, noting peculiar animal behavior, peculiar markings on trees, and unexplained natural phenomena. It was as if the forest itself was alive and responding to his presence. One moonlit night, Gabriel set up camp near a small clearing. As he stared into the crackling fire, a chilling breeze swept through the forest extinguishing the flames. A sense of unease washed over him as darkness engulfed his surroundings. A voice whispered on the wind, 
barely audible yet unmistakably real. Leave this place, Gabriel, the voice seemed to say. This forest holds secrets that are best left undiscovered. Determined to uncover the truth, Gabriel defied the warning and continued his exploration. Every step brought him deeper into the heart of the dark forest, where the mysteries grew more perplexing. One morning, as Gabriel followed a faint trail, he stumbled upon an ancient stone altar hidden amidst a cluster of trees. Carvings adorned its weathered surface, depicting scenes of a forgotten civilization. Gabriel's heart raced as he realized the significance of his discovery. This place was steeped in history. As Gabriel studied the enigmatic carvings, a low growl reverberated through the air. He turned to see a pair of glowing eyes staring at him from the shadows. His blood ran cold as a massive black wolf emerged, its gaze unwavering. Gabriel knew he had trespassed on something sacred, something beyond his comprehension. Before Gabriel could react, the wolf lunged, its fangs bared. Instinct kicked in, and he sprinted through the dense undergrowth, feeling the beast's hot breath on his heels. The chase seemed endless, as if the forest itself conspired to keep him captive. Finally, Gabriel stumbled upon a hidden cave entrance. He dove inside, narrowly escaping the relentless pursuit of the wolf. Breathing heavily, he realized he had stumbled upon a sanctuary, an underground chamber untouched by time. Inside the cave, ancient artifacts lay scattered, remnants of a forgotten era. The walls were adorned with intricate paintings, each one depicting a different aspect of the dark forest's haunting outer. Gabriel felt a mixture of awe and dread as he absorbed the magnitude of his discovery. However, his fascination was cut short by a chilling realization. He was not alone in the cave. Another presence, one more ominous than any he had encountered before, lurked in the shadows. Gabriel's heart raced as he strained his senses, trying to discern the nature of the presence in the cave. A voice, ancient and raspy, echoed through the chamber. Gabriel, it whispered, sending shivers down his spine. You have delved too deep. You have trespassed upon sacred ground. Fear gripped Gabriel, but his curiosity pushed him to respond. Who are you? What secrets does this forest hold? The voice chuckled, a sound devoid of mirth. The secrets of the dark forest are not for mortals to know. It is a place of darkness, where the boundary between the living and the dead is blurred. Gabriel's mind raced, trying to comprehend the enormity of what he had stumbled upon. The forest held a power far beyond his understanding, a power that could consume him if he wasn't careful. Leave this place, the voice warned again, or else face the consequences of your curiosity. Gabriel hesitated, torn between his insatiable desire for knowledge and the instinct to flee. But deep down, he knew the voice spoke the truth. The dark forest was not meant for him. It held secrets too potent too dangerous to be uncovered. With a heavy heart, Gabriel retreated from the cave, retracing his steps through the labyrinthine passages of the forest. The once alluring mysteries now seemed like ominous warnings, urging him to escape while he still could. As he emerged from the confines of the dark forest, Gabriel felt a weight lift from his shoulders. He had narrowly escaped the clutches of a force beyond his comprehension and now he understood the price he could have paid for his curiosity. But the dark forest had left an indelible mark on Gabriel's soul. Its secrets, though unexplored, would forever haunt his dreams. The experience had taught him the importance of respecting the boundaries of the natural world, of acknowledging that some realms were best left untouched. In the years that followed, Gabriel became an advocate for the preservation of forests and their delicate ecosystems. He dedicated his life to studying and protecting these enigmatic spaces, but the memory of the dark forest remained a constant reminder of the fine line between curiosity and recklessness. And so, Gabriel's journey through the dark forest came to an end, leaving him forever changed. The elder of the unknown would always beckon to him, but he now understood the wisdom of restraint and the dangers that lurked in the shadows.
Daniel was an adventurous soul who always sought out the thrill of exploring the unknown. His latest endeavor led him deep into the heart of a dense forest known as the Dark Forest. Legends and stories surrounding this place were whispered among the locals, painting a picture of a mysterious and foreboding landscape. Undeterred by the tales, Daniel saw it as an opportunity to embark on a truly captivating adventure. As Daniel ventured deeper into the forest, a sense of unease began to creep up on him. The sunlight struggled to penetrate the thick canopy overhead, casting eerie shadows that danced on the forest floor. Every rustle of leaves and crack of twigs amplified his apprehension. Still, he pushed forward, curiosity driving him deeper into the unknown. Hours turned into days as Daniel trekked through the dark forest, his determination unwavering. The forest seemed to come alive around him, with the whispering wind carrying eerie voices and the occasional glimpse of eyes peering from the darkness. It was as if the forest itself was aware of his presence. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, Daniel stumbled upon an old, dilapidated cabin nestled deep within the woods. The structure appeared abandoned, its decaying walls and broken windows giving it a haunting presence. The flickering light of his flashlight revealed a sense of desolation within. Curiosity peaked, Daniel cautiously stepped inside, his heart pounding in his chest. The interior was in disarray, covered in layers of dust and debris. Broken furniture and cobwebs adorned the rooms, adding to the eerie atmosphere. But amidst the chaos, Daniel discovered a diary, hidden beneath a pile of forgotten belongings. With trembling hands, Daniel opened the diary and began reading the entries. The words painted a picture of a previous resident named Samuel, who had come to the dark forest in search of solace. As Daniel delved deeper into the diary, he discovered Samuel's descent into madness, his obsession with the forest, and its dark secrets consuming his every thought. As the last entry came to an end, Daniel realized that he was not alone in the cabin. A chilling breath brushed against his neck, sending shivers down his spine. He turned around, only to find himself face to face with a shadowy figure, its eyes glowing with an otherworldly intensity. Daniel froze in fear as the shadowy figure loomed over him. Its presence was suffocating, and he could feel a palpable malevolence emanating from it. He desperately searched for an escape route, but found himself cornered, trapped within the confines of the eerie cabin. As the figure drew closer, Daniel's mind raced, trying to make sense of the situation. Had he stumbled upon something he wasn't meant to discover? Was there a reason the dark forest held such a sinister reputation? The weight of uncertainty pressed upon him, making it difficult to think clearly. With a sudden burst of courage, Daniel mustered the strength to speak, his voice trembling. Who are you? What do you want? The figure remained silent, its piercing gaze fixed on Daniel. A chilling breeze swept through the cabin, causing the flickering candles to dance and casting eerie shadows on the walls. The atmosphere became heavy with an ominous presence. Seconds turned into an eternity as Daniel awaited a response. Just as he was about to surrender to despair, a low, haunting voice echoed through the room, chilling him to the core. You have trespassed upon sacred ground, Daniel. The secrets of the dark forest are not meant for mortal souls. Daniel's heart pounded in his chest as realization washed over him. The tales and legends had not been mere fables. They held a grain of truth. Fear and regret gnawed at his insides, knowing that his curiosity had led him into a world he could not comprehend. Please, Daniel pleaded, his voice filled with desperation. I didn't mean any harm. I was only seeking adventure, exploring the unknown. The figure's eyes seemed to soften, revealing a hint of sorrow. Ignorance is not an excuse, Daniel. The dark forest harbors ancient secrets, powers beyond mortal comprehension. It is a place where darkness reigns, and those who venture too far often lose themselves. Daniel's gaze dropped, guilt and remorse flooding his being. He now understood the consequences of his actions, the repercussions of his curiosity. He had awakened something in the depths of the dark forest, 
and now he would have to face the consequences. The figure slowly retreated, fading into the shadows. Consider this a warning, Daniel, the voice echoed. Leave this place and never return. Forget what you have seen, for the dark forest will not forget you. And just like that, the figure vanished, leaving Daniel alone in the desolate cabin. Trembling with a mixture of fear and relief, he gathered his belongings and made his way back through the forest, vowing to heed the warning and never again seek the secrets that lay within the dark forest. From that day forward, Daniel carried the weight of the encounter with him, a constant reminder of the darkness that lurked in the world. The dark forest remained a place shrouded in mystery, a place he knew he could never fully comprehend. And though he moved on with his life, a lingering unease remained, a constant reminder of the thin line between curiosity and the unfathomable horrors that lie beneath.